Hold on. Hi, my name is AJ. I'm a sophomore at Millard South. And this is my poem, Lunar Lullaby. I was waiting for sleep to fall over me like a warm blanket, mindlessly scrolling through apps. And I heard a small clip of Claire de Lune. It filled me with a feeling. My mind kept trying to place what it was. Letting the melody play, I looked up at the moon, my mind wandering. Soon enough, I found my feeling. When you want someone you know you'll never have. That feeling when you see them during passing, stars filling your vision, exchanging a glance and a smile. You get that feeling. It's bittersweet, like you're floating in cold, empty space. And then gravity returns, plummeting a million miles an hour deeper into guilt for wanting them so much. You know they don't feel the same. They never will. That feeling when you hear their laugh, and your stomach flutters. But they didn't laugh at a joke you told. It was told by the girl hanging off their arm. You can't watch for another second. They both look so happy together. You know they are. But you're jealous, so jealous of her. It's that feeling when they walk into to class and you sneak a few glances as they sit down feeling your cheeks get red, your hands get sweaty, your pulse start to race. And they look at you for just a moment with their Neptune blue eyes, and you fall even deeper. You know you shouldn't feel this way. They have a girlfriend, but they're a black hole. You just can't help but be drawn in. And you know, for them, it was just a glance, an unimportant scan around the room, and you feel yourself get cold. All you want is their blue eyes to land on you and stay there. You want them to notice everything about you the way you do with them. But you know that won't happen. Although you can't help but hope that one day they'll look and finally see you. You catch yourself dreaming, imagining a perfect world where you're in her place, where you're the Venus to their Mars. The song ends and the world goes silent. But the feeling stays. I looked away from the moon, wrapped myself tightly in my covers, but I kept thinking about what could have been, but will never be.